Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And today we are talking about some La Luna attacks at Town Hall 9. This is from One Hive Trinity. They're facing a clan that has maybe some bases that you guys see more. They look a little more uh, common, I guess you could say. Uh, not exactly the type of anti three star bases that we always see. And this is a video I've been making more, this type of video, where we look at bases um, from non like CWL war type clans um, that are more common in your random searches and wars and I like to talk about the best strategies so you guys have seen some of these La Luna attacks as well but I want to show more because um, they're they're simple and it's really old-fashioned this is a very tried and true strategy um, ever since Lava Hounds were released basically people have been using these kind of hybrid attacks. Now this one did, didn't even have any Lava Hounds in it, but I wanted to show it as part of this video <clears throat> because it, it it shows that um, base identification is key. And these core air defenses are setting the base up to be hollowed out in the middle by some kind of big kill squad. In this case, three golems, the heroes, um, bowlers, and uh, used in loons on the back end as a nice compliment. So. Um, if you don't have high level heroes, if you don't have bowlers, Valks are going to be your friend here. Um, they are a very high DPS, tanky troop. They're going to be better than bringing a bunch of golems. One golem and Valks will kind of do the job in place of this big three golem bowler kill squad. You just got to make sure you have a heal spell or two to keep them up. The rages are less important if you have a lot of Valks. So that's something you can substitute in, but in this case, he goes with kind of the um, more typical stone kill squad, we call it, because it has those three golems, as well as the bowlers. I think there's like four giant bombs right there. I'm surprised his troops survived. Um, now that I look at that, there's like four little marks there. But he gets all the air defenses. Doesn't get that last expo, but that's not that big of a deal. Gets pretty low on HP there. Um, the queen's still up, and I think she will survive this attack. That golem's doing some nice tanking. I would have liked to see a few loons. Oh, yeah, they're the loons. Um, very good... Um, timing because that golem's tanking at the bottom of the screen there and then just deploys these balloons he has a heal spell he doesn't really even need um, defenses can all be targeted and if you go back to my last video on uh, things not to do when you're building your uh, base you can see the uh, the way that all these defenses can be targeted individually by balloons really made it too easy to do this type of strategy on it so nice attack has the haste and a swag heal spell it looks like um, good stuff there, good base identification. We'll take a look at some more typical hybrid attacks, and you guys can just kind of see the techniques once again in this video. Something I've made videos on in the past, but um, I want to focus even more on this strategy, especially right now, um, because Lava Hounds, Loons, very powerful combo, often overlooked. We know Hogs are good for sure, but um, I think in a way, it can be more consistent using La Loon if the base does not have any like um, of the major things to f that are used to defend against it, like the air defenses not being in places where all the nearby air targeting defenses can be tanked by Lava Hound, stuff like that, which a lot of these uh, bases tend to neglect those type of techniques. So this one was a nice um, attack here. You can see how many balloons he'll have left up at the end here. Uh, but the queen next to a bunch of valuable defenses, including air defenses, uh, the CC is there, all these wizard towers. Um, unfortunately, these archer towers go down too quickly, so the golems actually don't go inside the base. That's something you have to be careful of, is you got to make sure there's something that's going to draw these golems inside the base. I would have liked to see this jump spell be placed off to the side a little bit to allow one of those golems to come on in. But um, I guess he wanted to make sure that the bowlers went straight on through along with the king and the queen. Uh, poisons the CC, nice rage there as well. And like I said, guys, if you don't have the high-level heroes, you don't have access to the bowlers, the Valks are a very good uh, replacement in the kill squad. They can do a similar job, and uh, they're especially good on these types of bases where there's a bunch of buildings touching each other. It just makes them do basically twice as much damage, which is very, very nice. Um, so here are these Lava Hounds. You can see at Town Hall 9, these Lava Hounds are going to last so long on these air defenses. That's one thing if you're at Town Hall 10. If you look back at these Town Hall 9 attacks, you'll be so surprised how long these Lava Hounds actually survive. Because with single Infernos these days, Lava Hounds just get evaporated. But um, Overkill for sure has 
Loon's Despair, a Haste spell, this one Lava Hand not even doing anything, um, crushed this base, and uh, wasn't even the smoothest attack with those Golems not going in. So that's a very nice example of how you want to do it when you see these types of bases that really don't have those components that we typically associate with anti-three-star bases. Okay, one more attack here. Uh, number 19 as we wrap up this video. And uh, another nice Lawloon attack. Just kind of the basic stuff that's working. Going at the Queen. This one's maybe a little more anti-three-star-esque, but it has those air defenses in some convenient positions for lava hounds for sure so we're going to come at this base wide funnel as town hall nine typically uh you do it works well you can see these wizards are going to get some good value taking out these archer towers because the golems are taking all point defense in the area now that one golem is going for a bit of a walk actually both of them this is another one of these attacks where the golems go on a walk luckily he gets those wall breakers down in time while the defenses are still a little bit distracted so um, you got to be careful um, when you don't have a golem out in front. Luckily, the level 30 heroes can bail you out oftentimes, along with these level 3 bowlers. Um, very powerful at Town Hall 9. So even without the, uh, the golems, he at least got some of that point defense taken out. So all that really is hurting the kill squad is the CC troops, which the queen can deal with. And um, they're going to get pretty far into the base. I think maybe even get these air sweepers here, which are helpful because they're kind of pointing towards where the Laloon's coming from. Uh, so Queen gets up in here, the ability will take out a lot of these uh, defenses, and then it'll be time for La Loon. Um, one thing, don't wait too long. As soon as your kill squad's pretty much done, start deploying your Lava Hounds. Keep an eye on like your Queen for her ability, but besides that, get it going. Um, oftentimes, if you do it right, the Queen might survive and help with cleanup, help take out more defenses, kind of like she is right now as she gets that Wizard Tower right there. Um, but this is just too easy with this air defense tanking the uh, Teslas right there. So very convenient how um, everything works out on the way this base is designed. All defenses on those Lava Hounds and these Loons will just crush the base. Queen was actually hanging on by a thread until that cannon got her at the end. Um, I think he might swag this haste spell. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot of cleanup. One thing n you don't want to overlook is if you think you're going to crush a base, like if it's not the best design, um, it, it's very easy to hit with La Loon. One thing people often do is they their Lava Hounds don't explode because the base is so crushed. So they have like a big clump of loons and Lava Hounds at the end, but like only like a wizard and a few minions. So make sure if you think you're going to crush the base, go a little lighter on either Lava Hounds or maybe even balloons and uh, just bring more minions or wizards or something for cleanup because time can be a big factor if you're going to crush a base and not have a bunch of Lava Pups up to help you. So just be be aware of that, but um, with a kill squad type attack, it's not a queen walk, it won't take that long. Shouldn't be Time shouldn't be an issue if you uh, do, do things right. So that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Just some nice Town Hall 9 um, air attacks. These hybrid attacks working very well on uh, common types of bases that we see in these random search wars. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.